Hey guys, when we concluded the story of the PTR-51P PDWR, I was trying to figure out what I should replace it with. The front-running candidates were either a full-length 308, like a PTR-91, or a PTR-9CT. I was struck by a rapid onset case of indecision, so now I've got one of each. So now we've got two project guns to work on, because neither of these is very practical out of the box. The PTR-91 is a model A3S, which means it's one of the original 18-inch stepped barrels, not one of the bull barrel models. It's got this standard black plastic GI furniture, and the nicest thing I can say about it is that it takes the magazines I already have. That's a solid selling point, since I've got like a dozen of those aluminum surplus G3 mags. The problem with the G3, the HK-91, and the PTR-91 is that they're very difficult to modernize. The shape of the stock and the fixed rear drum sight make it really difficult to mount optics. An 18-inch barreled 308 battle rifle really screams out for a high magnification scope, but trying to get your eye behind almost anything with the default stock is pretty miserable. I tried a couple of scopes on there, and I basically had to put my nose up against the end cap, which is not a very fun way to shoot. The other problem is that the G3 platform has pretty stout recoil. The real issue is that the G3 doesn't have an inline stock, so it exhibits a lot more muzzle climb than an AR-10 or an FAL or pretty much any of the other full-size battle rifles. I already swapped the VG-6 muzzle brake from the 51P onto the A3S. It makes it significantly more stable to shoot, and it's not quite as obnoxious as it is on the 8-inch barrel. I hate compensators. To further modernize the gun, I've ordered a spur stock. That'll give me some more leeway when it comes to mounting optics, and it also places the stock in line with the recoil. A buddy already sent me a spare handguard to replace the cheap plastic forend that comes on the gun. So between that, a stock, a muzzle brake, some accessories, and a good optic, we should end up with something kind of interesting. Stay tuned for that. I already knew the 9CT would take some work to get it up to par with a more modern design. I didn't even try to make the gun work in its default configuration. I replaced the PTR branded M-Lock rail with a much better Midwest Industries M-Lock rail. The gun comes with an end cap assembly that you can attach a sling to, but obviously that's not going to get you very far. So I put on an SB Tactical HK PDW brace, which aside from being extremely heavy is also terrible. We'll talk more about that some other time. I tried to configure the PTR-9CT for night vision use with a Holosun 117 IR laser, a Surefire 300 scout light with an IR head, and a Unity Taps pressure switch. I also topped it with a red dot on a ScalarWorks 1.93 NV height mount. The real limitation with the 9CT is that you don't have a whole lot of rail space to work with for mounting accessories. I'm sure there's a way to get this thing set up, and we will talk more about that another time. I'll keep you guys posted about these two project guns going forward. That's something to look forward to. See you later. <laughs> nice save.